All right, people, listen up. We got a lot of work to do today, okay? We did fantastic yesterday, and I mean, we blew it out of the water. I knew you guys were going to do good because you guys are like the best team I've ever had, but like, you shocked me yesterday, okay? And I know we've been having a lot of pizza parties because honestly, I don't like doing work either, and as your boss, I want you guys to enjoy your time here, so um, I can kind of, you know, cheat the system a little bit and tell my boss, oh yeah, we worked real hard, you know, we got everything done, yeah, they're, yeah, they're, they're great, and you guys are, I'm not lying about that, but I definitely think having like pizza parties and time to just, you know, chill and enjoy yourself and tie up one or two loose ends, you know, maybe send one or two emails is a great way to relax at this workspace, okay? And trust me, I get it. I hate looking at cement buildings out the window as much as the next person. Sorry, Jean. I know you really like the city, but I'm a farm girl, so uh, I'm used to fields of crop. <laughs> anyway. We had lots of awesome, fun pizza party days. And we had a birthday. Congratulations, Hannah. But that also means we got to pick up a little bit of slack and, you know, actually get the proper work done. Um, so I am going to be in my office most of today um, for lunch. You guys can have whatever leftovers there are. If anybody wants to order anything, come and get me. I'll give you my, I'll give you the company card, okay? And uh, yeah, everything will be running smoothly. Um, Jean, you're gonna be doing. Uh, let's see, let's see. What did I have you down for? Let me flip through this. Give me one moment, Jean. Sorry, what'd you say? Emails? Yeah, emails. Yeah, that's what you usually do. Sorry. Scatterbrain. And then Hannah, darling, can you do our advertisement today? Maybe work with Bridget and, you know, cut the work in half. Awesome. Thanks. Oh my gosh, you girls rock. And Greg. Yeah, I know. I know, I know, I know. You hate it. And it sends you home in a grumpy mood. And I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. But you are the only one we have qualified for the moment. I know we have... Uh, I, I know we have a newbie coming in. Um, so maybe we can throw him on your case. You know, maybe you could try and teach him a little bit. Or you think you're going to be a little too booked up today for that? Too booked up? Okay, that's fine. No, absolutely. You take, you know, you, you put in your earbuds if you need to. Just maybe um, leave one out if you don't mind if we need to call you or in case there's emergency or something. I wouldn't want you getting stuck here and not hearing, you know, a message or anything. Or if, you know, we go out for lunch or something, I want you to be able to be involved, you know? Okay. Um, so we have emails. We have advertising checked. Uh, what else do we need? What else? What else? What else? Stock? Yes, yes, we need stock run. Thank you so much, Brian. You are on top of things all the time. I really, really appreciate you. Could, would you mind? Yeah, I mean, normally I would send Katie, but with her little one on the way, I don't want her doing all that walking. I really appreciate it, Brian. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, Katie, you, my dear. Oh, look at you. Oh, my goodness. Your baby is growing so fast. When does your maternity leave start? What? No. There's no way. Goodness, time does fly, doesn't it? All right. Um. Well, Katie, dear, I'm going to send you on maternity leave two days early because you deserve to be spoiled being a brand new mama. And, um... Yeah, I want you to be at peace and relax and enjoy yourself, but don't worry. I got you, girl. You're going to be paid maternity leave. Because <laughs> trust me, I can only imagine how much babies cost. I've never had one, but anyway, <laughs> I got you. Two days extra maternity leave. Those two days, um, I'll pay you for it, but uh, the rest of it, unfortunately, corporate won't let me cover that, but hopefully those two days, you know, will give you a little bit extra than you were hoping for. Yeah, of course, of course, and that should be everybody, right? 
All right, if I gave you guys a task uh, set to work, um, there is, you know, the cure eggs in the office. If you guys need anything from there, uh, I went and filled up the uh, the pop from last week. Um, I filled that up last night, so there should be plenty of uh, beverages and stuff for you guys to enjoy yourselves. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. You, can, you guys carry this company. You don't even understand. I, ooh. Sorry. <laughs> Didn't mean to bump into there. Uh, oh. Oh, you're our newbie, aren't you? Welcome, welcome. Meet the team. Say hello, everybody. All right. So, let's see. Um, what could I put you on? Craig is going to be too busy for you to job shadow him today. What were you training for before you came here? Secretary? Okay, that we can work with that. We don't have a secretary pr position, but um I can work with that. Yeah. M my secretary? Oh, goodness. Uh I've never had a secretary before. Um what did you do before, you know, for your old boss? Oh, and please, I know I'm your boss, but you can call me by my name. I'm Shadow. This is Craig. We've got Katie here, Hannah, and... Oh, you met them already? Well, that's perfect. Then you guys are awesome and acquainted. Um, so, I mean, we don't really have anything for you at the moment because I didn't expect you till tomorrow. So I'm really glad that you're here. Uh, I think that was probably just a... Yep, I'm looking at my sheet right now. It was a scheduling issue on my part and me being, you know, silly scatterbrained. Um, so what we're going to do is how about you shadow me today? Yeah. Oh, don't worry. I see you're super tense. Take a deep breath. <sighs> and just relax. I promise you I'm going to do my best to make this as stress-free as possible. Fortunately, you came on a day that we have to kind of tie up a bunch of loose ends, but anyway. Um, so if you wouldn't mind, I am going to first hand you these papers. Um, all you need to do is you need to take them to the copying room, which you can actually see it. It's the one with the open door and the pink light. Yeah, um, so you're going to take these in there, and I need five copies of each page. There should only be ten pages there. Yeah, but I, I need five. Do you know how to work the machine? Okay, if you can't figure it out, come and grab me, and I will absolutely be more than happy to help you. I'm going to be in my office. It's that door over there with the, yeah, with the rainbow LEDs, absolutely, and that's where I'm going to be chilling, so you can come in and get me whenever you need it. Yeah. Oh, uh, actually, I think I got to go into the copy room anyway. If I didn't write this stuff down, I'd lose my head. So, where did you used to work before you came here? Oh, <laughs> green button, and then you'll press the blue button. And then five, perfect, and put in the first page. And it should do a little jingle once it's done printing. Uh, yeah, <laughs> we had the, the tech guys come up. Uh, we were having a little bit of a, we were having a hot cocoa party, I think, um, for Christmas, and they installed that for us. It's kind of nice. Sorry? Who am I? Oh, well, I'm the boss of this section of the company. <laughs> I'm fun. Well, I appreciate that. I get that more often than you think. You know, I think it's really important for humans to be able to enjoy where they work. And actually, since I've, you know, started in allowing people to decorate their desks and, you know, providing snacks and, you know, time to just enjoy their workspace, it really does improve, um, improve on their work and how much they're willing to do. Yeah. <laughs> well, I won't take any personal offense if this is too much for you. It is kind of stressful, especially on days like today. I'm quite stressed. But it happens. I think the stress-free times when you have p 
pizza parties or celebrating birthdays or hot cocoa bars or Sundays. It it helps it feel a lot less wor like work, you know? But <laughs> enough about here. I'm sure you're doing your best to uh, do your best. And that's all that I'm ever going to ask is that you give it your best. And I understand that every day is going to be different. But I'm proud to have you on the team. I must say, I'm quite impressed. I went over your file, and I didn't expect to find someone who fit the job so well. Yeah, I mean, most of these people just signed up as, you know, I don't know, cleaning the office and stepped in to help. <laughs> so it's, uh, it's gonna be really nice to have two extra hands. I truly feel like having you here is going to be quite the blessing. We've really needed it recently. God has a funny way of taking care of us, doesn't he? Oh, sorry, I... I'm so used to being so comfortable around the other co-workers, I forgot to ask if it was okay if I talked about him to you. I mean, I believe in God, but if you're uncomfortable with talking about it, then I'm gonna respect that, and, uh... I'll do my best to keep him out of any conversations we might have. You don't mind? Oh, well that's good. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I never would have guessed he would have put me here, but he did. And believe it or not, I was going to try and be a marine biologist and, instead of working here in an office. It's definitely not a place I expected to be. I wanted to be outside and, you know, seeing the world and working out in, you know, the fresh air and the greenery, but he brought me here. And honestly, I think I can see why. People used to be so miserable. I mean, a lot of them still are. They just felt underappreciated, and like the work they were doing didn't mean anything to anybody besides a paycheck. But it's so much more than that. You're serving each other, and helping each other, and helping the rest of the world. It's hard, and it's tedious and exhausting, but it's good. And it's honest, and it's true. And I think having a connection with your coworkers and being able to come to work and smile and laugh and properly enjoy yourself certainly is a huge help. I never would have worked at a place like this otherwise. I mean, I've tried working at other places, like I worked at McDonald's, and that was, ugh, that was awful. I only did it to get me through the winter, really. The rest of it, it was getting yelled at by customers, and coworkers getting stressed out, and getting mad at you, and then you just felt defeated, and when they would send you to back window, they would forget about me. I was supposed to work an 8 hour shift, and ended up working 10 because they forgot I was back there. But don't stress, I'm not gonna be like that. I'm not gonna forget about you. In fact, I do my best to get my coworkers out of here on time, if not a little bit early. If I don't dismiss you and it's time for you to go, just go. Just pop in and say, hey, I'm heading home. And I'll be like, alright. I hope to see you tomorrow. Drive safely. And off you go. But I should probably let you get to work. Enough jamboring about God. I'll have plenty of time to do that. If, if you stay with us. <laughs> if you don't, then I understand. He's pulling you in a different direction. Just, um, be sure to listen to him. Yeah? Give him some time and some space to work in your life. 
hand over the reins and let him take control. It can be scary, but he'll take you where he needs you. And oftentimes, wherever he takes you and wherever he needs you is going to be the happiest place you'll ever go. So, with that, if you need anything, I'll be in my office. I'm excited to have you on our team.